Hey everyone, it's Cam here. Now, I've recently been on YouTube and had a fascination with cold brew concentrates. And these are things where it's usually, um, I'm not sure the entire process, but I'm pretty sure it's like less water for the same amount of coffee in a cold brew. That results in a cold brew concentrate, which you would add to water or milk, and that would be diluted in such a way that it would be the normal amount that you would expect from a cold brew. Well, normal amount of like concentration, it's it'll taste more like coffee rather than an espresso. Um, but recently I had found a company on Amazon, and I'm not sure if I've really seen anyone review it on YouTube, so I decided why not try it myself. And they don't they aren't just cold brew, but they also have chai. The cold brew that they have is a, it goes from normal, which is about 200 milligrams of, of coffee, to extra, which is 300 milligrams of caffeine, all the way down to decaf, which is none, like no caffeine, and the kind of middle, caffeination, which is low caffeine, which is about a 100 milligrams of coffee, of the caffeine in a um, amount of the cold. And it's a, the decaf is natural Swiss water decaf. Then, and all of these are 12 hour cold brew. They also have chai lattes, which are, um, they're concentrates as well. The set I have is all four of the flavors, so they've got Sunset Chamomile Chai, Golden Turmeric Chai, Dirty Masala, which has coffee in it, and Classic Masala. Also having varying levels of caffeine with the two that are more, um, just the chai in a low caffeination, which is zero. And then the dirty has about 100 milligrams, and the uh, classic is 45 milligrams of caffeine. I'll do that in another video because otherwise, this video would make be probably 20 minutes long, and I'd have to see how long each section is. You'll see my outfit change in each section, likely because I'm not going to over caffeinate myself and I don't like having multiple coffees just in my fridge when I don't have the space to have all these glasses of coffee in my fridge. Now, the first one I want to start with is the kind of standard, which has 200 milligrams of caffeine and it's unsweetened, they're all unsweetened. Um, the, the pack I have is a smaller like sample, but each bottle is one serving. And as you can see, it is handpicked in Sidamo and Yirgesha. It's Ethiopian. And what you would do, remove the little seal, and it says pour brew into a glass with ice. Wow. Here's a glass with ice. And actually, I'm sure you need to shake it. It doesn't really say to shake before, but I know some cold brew concentrates, it's like, some of the more fines gets settled. Then you pour it into the glass. And I'm sure that if you really wanted the ultra built of coffee, you could just drink this like it is, but I'd rather not. The, the smell right now is a little, I, I can tell that there's a little sharpness because of it being concentrated of course but I get hints of like dark chocolate 
but to really taste it, I have to add water. I have eight ounces of water. I figured that's probably what most people would dilute down to. Of course, it depends on how much fits into this glass because I don't think don't think that this glass is exactly 10 fluid ounces, plus the ice is kind of changing the amount that's able to fit in, but... Oh. I guess this is closer to a 12 ounce glass. Mix it up. Now, I don't like cold brew usually, and I don't really like cold brew concentrates. Um, I've tried the like Trader Joe's concentrate. I believe I've had Publix cold brew concentrate, um, Starbucks cold brew concentrate, and I think there's one or two others that I may have tried. I just don't remember the company. Usually, the concentrates I have to dilute it additionally with half and half, but this is really good. I'm not the best with getting notes out of coffee, but there's a bit of chocolatiness. There's something else that I'm not entirely sure of, and I'm sure that the I haven't actually looked into the company's like website if there is one, but I'm sure on their website they have a little bit more of tasting notes. So on their website they have a explanation of their beans. It's single origin washed uh, Ethiopian coffee, which is known as the birthplace of coffee. Um, grown at a high altitude, carefully handpicked and meticulously sorted to make sure it's only the highest quality. It's grown in Sidamo and Yirgashev regions of Ethiopia, which have the higher quality beans and more balanced coffees. I can definitely taste that in this. They're 100% organic and specialty grade Arabica, and it is in the top 3% of coffee beans produced worldwide. Now in the no calf, low calf, and extra calf, there's actually also chicory in it. If you have some chicory sensitivity, you likely wouldn't want to have anything else other than this regular type. And the coffee is known to have a bright acidity, medium body, and a smooth and bold flavor. Now, that's all that I get with the coffee tasting notes, and I can tell that it's I think that's what's missing with my explanation. It's a bright acidity. And I can definitely tell that if you put this with milk, it'll be more of a latte and a nice latte. I'm, I may do another video with these where I do everything with uh, diluting with milk. I just haven't gotten more milk in yet. Alright, so I'm going to add some half and half because this is pretty good as um, just straight black, but I often, I often see that half and half is usually a, almost the make and break point for coffee, especially if it's like a diluting concentrate. So. Just gonna add a splash of half and half. You know, not not enough to make it too light. Actually, I may want more. I personally like my coffee a little either black or like this midpoint of tan. Not really. Still dark brown, but I'm just trying to stir it around by swishing it didn't really work.
So if you want more flavor, but you still want half and half, I recommend you keeping it closer to maybe five to six ounces to the two ounces of concentrate and adding what I would assume is probably close to one, maybe one and a half fluid ounces of half and half. I still get the flavor, but I can tell that it's the acidic part, it, the like bright acidicness is kind of dulled out by the half and half. Still a great cup. And now, on to the next one. And obviously I've changed clothes. Now, originally I was going to make this video and try each of the flavors. But after some thinking, I realized that it may not be really that necessary because um, the extra caffeine, the low calf, and the no calf, all three have the addition of chicory, while also the low calf has, well, low calf and no calf are a Swiss water decaffeination, so. Chances are I'm not going to get much of a difference between the extra calf and the regular calf other than the caffeine and I'm not going to get much of a difference between the low calf and the no calf other than really having some extra caffeine in the low calf so and I'm pretty sure that caffeine doesn't really have a flavor so it would just be the aftermath that affects me with the two other flavors. If people get, if people comment and want me to try them and explain how they taste to me, I'll gladly do that. I just, I realize that the video has already been about 15 minutes and right now I don't really want to be making a full hour long video if I don't have to. And this is a random suggestion that if you like my content in this video, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell icon and you'll be notified when I next make another video, which the next video will probably be the chai latte one. And I may try these in milk rather than water. And another thing is when I finished the coffee that I had just made in the first section of this video, I noticed a bit of sediment. Now, that may just be from this settling. Um, I've, I ordered this about a week ago and I've only recently been able to get to it. So it could be that it should be shaking before serving. I'm not going to go through with how to make this because it's the same thing. You pour the two liquids together. Uh, so I don't see the sediment in this. Obviously, maybe because I shake it. If it if it's if it occurs in this again, I will show you after I do the half and half test. Okay, so the, the Swiss water method seems to kind of dilute a lot of the flavor, but it doesn't... If it makes sense, it doesn't dilute the flavor, but it makes a lot more of the finer details a little more obvious. Plus there's the flavor of chicory which if you've been in Louisiana and you've had the Café du Monde coffee, that has chicory in it. So if you've had that, you know the flavor of chicory with coffee. And 
And now to quickly do the half and half test. Okay, so there is no sediment in this. It could just be that I shake, I've shaken this bottle a lot more than the regular calf bottle, but that's just a random tidbit that may be useful to anyone who tries this and notices the same thing, that it may be just, maybe you're not meant to shake it, maybe you are meant to shake it and if you shake it, you shake it well. Okay, so similarly to the regular calf, I'd recommend dialing down to six ounces of water with the two ounces of coffee. So similarly to the regular calf, I believe this would be a lot better if you dialed down the uh, dilution to have maybe six to seven ounces of water to the concentrate. That is, if you're putting half and half in. Also, if you were using milk, it may be similar creaminess with less of a interruption to the flavor. And once again, if you want to see me try these with milk, like, comment, and subscribe, though chances are I may actually try it myself and record it because why not make a YouTube video out of it? And that's it. See you in the next video. And stay insane.